Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. In previous videos, we were able to demonstrate the incredibly strong surface tension that Mercury possesses. Salt would normally just float on the surface of Mercury like styrofoam beads would float on water. But when we pour Mercury on top of these less dense materials, the surface tension becomes the dominant force here. So the mercury's high surface tension blankets these materials and actually prevents them from floating. Since no one has ever demonstrated what it looks like to pour mercury over a non-Newtonian fluid, and because so many viewers suggested this idea, we're going to try it. Now I mixed this cornstarch and water as thick as I possibly could, and to demonstrate its sheer thickening properties, let's drop a steel ball in it. The ball actually comes to a stop when it hits the surface and actually made a little thud sound too. Next we'll take a pipette and drizzle droplets of mercury on the surface and see what that looks like. Now the view from the top gives us a little better idea of what's going on. Now part of the problem with doing this video was working with a fluid we couldn't see through. So we can only see what's happening at the surface. And next we'll just pour it in from the container in a larger volume. Now people always freak out when they see a droplet of mercury go astray and seemingly spill, but we use complete containment. We don't want to spill this stuff. And the red plate is just there for, for a background color. Now mercury has a very high density and a very high surface tension, but it has a pretty low viscosity and the viscosity is slightly higher than that of water and more akin to kerosene. And there you go, because so many people wanted to see it, mercury versus a non-Newtonian fluid. Nothing really magical happens, unfortunately, but because it's never been demonstrated before, we decided to do it. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.